Okay, we're talking SSA and SSB antibodies for Sjogren's diagnosis. This video is mostly for Katie because her and I are talking through private message, but um, it doesn't allow me to send pictures in TikTok. So I'm going to make a video showing um, some information for you. I'm reading out of this book, The Lupus Encyclopedia by Dr. Don Thomas. Okay, so we're reading here. Anti-SSA and anti-SSB antibodies were first discovered in 1961 in people who had Sjogren's syndrome, which is a systemic autoimmune disorder that causes dry eyes and dry mouth. The medical terms for them are Sjogren's syndrome A and so Sjogren's syndrome B antibodies, or SSA and SSB for short. So if you had a positive SSA, but none of your other blood work was positive, my next course of action would be to, number one, make sure you get a referral into a rheumatologist who is knowledgeable in Sjogren's disease. Uh, and then number two, ask for a referral for a lip biopsy to see if you are positive for that because the lip biopsy is kind of the golden seal uh, diagnoses test that they use to diagnose Sjogren's. I hope this helps.